I'm David Schneider with a look at your headlines for Tuesday, January 20th. Police are still investigating exactly what caused a crash that killed two people yesterday. Vermont State Police say it happened on a snow-covered Interstate 289 in Essex Monday morning. They say 78-year-old Pearl Farley's car veered across the center line and collided with Neil McKee's SUV. Both drivers were killed. A passenger, Ian McKee's car, is expected to be okay. And a man was seriously hurt when his tractor trailer crashed in Colton, New York. The St. Lawrence County Sheriff's Office says 59 year old Mustafa Mursa lost control on the snow covered road just before 8 o'clock. He went down a steep embankment and hit several trees along Highway 56. Mursa was airlifted to UVM Medical Center. Vermont Governor Peter Shumlin is joining in on the marijuana law discussion. After looking at the RAND report Friday that showed big revenues for Vermont if the drug were legal, Shumlin says there's no doubt the revenue potential is huge. He's still talking with colleagues to see what it might look like to study the issue or to outline a timetable. He says it might not advance this session. Today, taxing sugary drinks takes center stage. The Alliance for a Healthier Vermont is holding a news conference to launch a statewide campaign for a two cent per ounce tax on sugary drinks. More than 30 organizations are on board with the idea. They say it will cut down on how much sugar people drink and therefore on obesity and on health care problems. The group wants to use the money raised to go towards wellness programs for Vermonters. Public hearings are scheduled for this Thursday in Montpelier to determine why gas prices in Chinton and Franklin counties are so much higher than anywhere else in Vermont. The website Gas Buddy tracks retail gas prices nationwide. They say prices vary widely around Vermont, sometimes up to 40 cents per gallon. The House Transportation and Commerce Committees will hold public hearings Thursday at the State House. They hope to hear from consumers and from gasoline industry leaders as well. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo will deliver his State of the State address tomorrow afternoon. He'll speak from the Empire State Plaza in Albany. The address is expected to start at 1.30. WPTZ will carry the speech here live on the air, also online at WPTZ.com. Do be sure to check it out. Well, thanks so much for checking us out here online or on your mobile device. Be sure to tune in to WPTZ News Channel 5 starting at 5 o'clock for the latest news and weather of the day. Till then, have a great afternoon.